Tyrannosaurus rex, arguably the most famous and widely recognized dinosaur, is unique in that it's commonly known by both its full scientific name and its abbreviation, T-Rex. The first fossils now identified as Tyrannosaurus were discovered in the western United States during the 1870 years. However, it wasn't until the early 1900 years that a couple of partial skeletons revealed it as a massive, new species of carnivorous theropod. Its name, meaning, Tyrant Lizard King, quickly captured the public's imagination, cementing its role as the king of the dinosaurs and the fierce nemesis of Triceratops in popular media. At first, Tyrannosaurus rex was often portrayed standing in a kangaroo-like tripod pose, similar to other bipedal dinosaurs of the time, and depicted as cold-blooded and reptilian. Due to limited fossil evidence of its arms, it was also sometimes inaccurately shown with three fingers. While its close relative Gorgosaurus was known to have only two fingers, this wasn't confirmed for Tyrannosaurus until the late 80s. The dinosaur renaissance of the 70s brought major changes in the understanding of bipedal dinosaurs like T. rex. It became evident that it couldn't have stood upright without causing serious anatomical issues, leading to a shift in reconstructions. The 1993 film Jurassic Park played a significant role in introducing the corrected horizontal posture to the public, showcasing Tyrannosaurus rex as a dynamic, bird-like predator with its tail serving as a counterbalance. This portrayal became the standard depiction during the 90s, although the older tripod pose remains embedded in public memory. During this period, several key Tyrannosaurus rex specimens, such as Sue and Stan, were discovered, leading to a deeper understanding of the species' anatomy and life history. However, some of these fossils became embroiled in legal battles and fetched millions of dollars in auctions. In the mid-90s, the discovery of feathered non-avian dinosaurs in China sparked speculation about the presence of feathers on Tyrannosaurus rex. The early 2000 years discovery of Delong, a small feathered Tyrannosauroid, and Uteranus in the 2010 years fueled this debate. While these species were not closely related to Tyrannosaurus, they raised questions about whether the iconic dinosaur had feathers. In the 2010 years, highly feathered depictions of Tyrannosaurus became popular. However, a study on skin impressions from Tyrannosaurus and its relatives later revealed pebbly scales, suggesting it was primarily scaly, though some sparse feathering, particularly on juveniles, remains a possibility. The ongoing debate about theropod lips also played out through the 2010 years. While some reconstructions showed Tyrannosaurus rex with exposed teeth, similar to crocodiles, others proposed lips more akin to those of modern lizards like the Komodo dragon. While there's no consensus yet, most experts lean toward the likelihood that Tyrannosaurus rex had lips. Today, T. rex is understood to have been a much bulkier animal than previously imagined, with a barrel-shaped torso and a muscular tail. Living in western North America during the late Cretaceous, around 68 to 66 million years ago, it was one of the largest land predators, with the biggest specimens measuring up to 13 meters long. Tyrannosaurus had a large, boxy skull with a narrow snout, enabling forward-facing eyes that granted it excellent binocular vision. The skull's lightweight structure, with numerous air pockets, was balanced by fused and reinforced bones, giving it a bone-crushing bite force. Its sense of smell was highly developed, and its skull bones suggest it might have had thick, keratinous skin on its face, possibly used in aggressive behaviors like headbutting or shoving. Despite its small arms, they were muscular and likely useful for holding onto prey with their meat hook claws. Although T. rex wasn't built for speed, its legs were adapted for efficient walking, suggesting it was a long-distance stalker that ambushed its prey with short bursts of speed. Like most large carnivores, it would have scavenged opportunistically. Specimens once thought to belong to a smaller species, Nanotyrannus, are now largely accepted to be juvenile T. rex. These young dinosaurs were leaner, with longer legs suited for speed, 
and only gained their bulky adult proportions during a growth spurt in their teenage years. The latest controversy surrounding Tyrannosaurus rex arose in 2022 when a study proposed dividing the species into three, Tyrannosaurus rex, Imperator, and Regina. This suggestion hasn't been widely accepted, but it's likely to prompt further investigation in the coming years.